about a couple definitions. And um, I want to talk about can we believe in evolution and creation at the same time? Some will say, no one believes that. Well, we sent an email out, out to all the superintendents in the state of Georgia, and we got one back. And it basically went like this. Who are you doing this? Number one. Number two, I can have my faith and believe in evolution at the same time. And then number three, will you people still, will you people just stop fighting? <laughs> okay. Well, let's try to respond to this. Because that's our mission as Christians to be able to respond. First of all, I have known, uh, learned in this particular effort, you better know what words mean, okay, and stick with them, otherwise you'll be lost in this whole matter. What is microevolution? Microevolution is that limited change within narrow limits occurs throughout all living things. Hey, people have gotten taller. You notice that? Okay. What is macroevolution? The belief that all the living forms in the world have arisen from a single source which itself came from an inorganic form. Someone put it this way. Evolution is a fully natural process inherent in the physical properties of the universe by which life arose in the first place and by which all living things past or present have since developed divergently and progressively. Of course, that's what we're talking about. And we've, we've used this definition before, and I feel we understand it, because we need to know what we're talking about. We need to know um, what, uh, what ideas are included with evolution, what ideas are not included. You could call it naturalism. You could call it atheism. You could call people who promote this Darwin or Darwinism, and people who promote it Darwinists. So those are some definition, a good definition for evolution. Now let's talk about creation. The earth, solar system, and universe were created by God in about six 24-hour days, about 6,000 years ago. Living things were created after their kinds and reproduced. Sin brought corruption into the world. The global flood of nowhere changed the landscape in many ways. God upholds all things by his power, sent his son into the world as savior, and gave man a written revelation in order to know God and his will. Science is a result of the dominion mandate. Now, I want you to think about that for a second. Didn't God tell Adam and Eve to have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the beast of the field, and all? So, God is saying, have dominion over my creation, in a sense. And that's basically what science is. So, we can call it the Christian worldview. Okay, so there's the two. Again, here's what this superintendent said. And look, I want, to, I want you to know something. I'm not here to disparage any person that believes in evolution. I'm here to expose the beliefs of evolution and encourage people to follow the truth. Scientifically, but most important, biblically. Now, here's my question. Can we believe in both at the same time? Well, on the left side, we have creation. And on the right side, we have evolution. By the way, I, I gave the same presentation to the superintendent. And here it is. God is a creator, or natural chance can explain all. Six days, or 40.5 million years, or billion years. Creation is complete, or the change is still occurring. Oceans before land, land before oceans. First life on land was plants, life started in the ocean. In Genesis chapter 1, earth before sun, evolution, sun before earth. Trees before fishes, fishes before trees. Reptiles before birds, birds before reptiles. Whales before reptiles, reptiles before whales. Rain before man, no, man before rain, rain before man. Light before sun, sun before light, and so forth. Okay, there is one basic rule of logic. Now, I'll use... Our brother Adam as an example. Adam cannot be sitting on that section and this section. He could be sitting on that section or that section, but Adam cannot be sitting in both sections at the same time. Let me ask you a question. Can you believe in creation and evolution at the same time? And the answer is not logically or rationally. People have written books about this, and there's a good book right there. Okay, I want to take a, 
section and switch again.